Hey there, good morning. <laughs> I'm Abe Lincoln, and this apparently is Monday morning with the Mutts, the Veterans Day special. Uh, Hawk and Floyd have very much influenced this day's uh, video. Video? Yes, video. Uh, we are going to discuss Sally, a Civil War Staffordshire Terrier. Hawk, did you like this one? She's very interesting. She was the mascot of the 11th uh, Pennsylvania Volunteer Infantry. Did you know that? Floyd, chop, chop, stay here. Yes, indeed. Uh, she joined soldiers on countless battles, including Gettysburg, uh, where she mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> yes, for three whole days. Uh, and when they found her, she was guarding wounded soldiers. Uh, sadly, Sally was killed at the Virginia Battle of Hatcher's <laughs> Run. Correct. Uh, there is a statue of her at Gettysburg. Uh, Sergeant Stubby of World War I, a Boston Terrier, earned his sergeant tattle, title by serving in the France, uh, the trenches in France, alerting troops of incoming gas attacks, rescuing wounded soldiers. He even captured a German spy. I think Hawk thinks he would have liked doing that. The most decorated war dog of World War I met President Wilson, Wilson Harding, and Coolidge. Floyd, what do you think? Uh, Finally, Chips, a World War II dog, a husky collie German mix, originally a pet, much like these two. Uh, his owners gave him to the military as part of the Dogs of Defense program. <laughs> yes, indeed. That was launched uh, after Pearl Harbor. Chips served in General Patton's 7th army in Germany, Italy, France, and others. On one occasion, Chips charged into a pillbox, very frightening, capturing the enemy and saving his soldiers, his company soldiers from a machine gun firing. Indeed. And that is how we talk about our soldiers of all kind, dogs and humans today on Veterans Day. Correct? Hawk? Yes. Today's weather is going to be lovely. I, re recommend, I recommend you get outside and do something fun, as do these two. We're out. Good day.